Now, I've had quite a few cracked screens in my time, and by the time I get around having an appointment, it ends up being really expensive. So what I thought was pretty cool with the people at HMD, they told me about a Gen 2 repairability system, where you at home can repair the phone yourself. What? Yeah. Pretty cool. So we have got Petri here from Head of Product Marketing who's gonna show me all the ins and outs and how to do it and how apparently how easy it is. Petri, I think he's late. Hey Ryan. Hello, how are you going? How are you? Good, good. Well, we've got it all here. I'm interested to see what is what. And you've got the phone. I've right? got a broken screen, you're gonna okay. fix it. I'm gonna fix it. You will fix oh, it. Oh, right, I thought you were gonna do that, okay. Well, step one, what do I do? Uh, you take the phone, mm -hmm. and then you find a screw from the bottom. So how many, is there just the one screw there's on the just, bottom? Yeah, there's just one screw. It's okay. like this cam screw. You yeah. turn that anti-clockwise, and it pops okay. up nicely. Yep. And then you insert the pick inside, just... yeah, into that slot, and then just start going around. And that's actually glass as well, so it's super easy to replace if that happens to be a, a part Ooh, that breaks. Oh, wow. So the screws yep. are here, they're 13 all together, so there's a little bit of, uh, of unscrewing. Now we would just continue by removing the, the battery uh, connector, so you lift okay. that black thing So this black first. Black yeah. thing? This one? Yes. And then you can use the pick to just go underneath just that. Just to winch it out? That cable, yeah. Just pull that off. Um, and then you find um, the display connector cable, which is then the, the other, the yep. longer one, yeah. Now you just pop off the display connector cable. Okay, next step, boss. Yeah, so then all you gotta do is uh, you just lift up the phone. Yep. And see if the display starts coming off here from the side. Mm -hmm. uh, if it doesn't, so you can hold it like, so the display oh, is like down. Yeah, yeah so now oh. you then just pull that off. Um, and this little cable, you navigate yep. that through, so just okay. make sure that comes off. And this yeah. is the good part because that's already broken, you don't really have to worry about it too much. So okay. you just, you know, discard, discard that. that. Now you would just then do everything in reverse order. So you just um, first navigate that little cable through the hole in the frame. Good, and then just press the display in place. And now you can uh, put the phone lying on his face, so back on the table. Just makes things a lot easier. And then you just lock one of the screws in the bottom. Oh, so I'm not and that pushing, way it's I'm like, it. yeah, yeah, you don't have to do anything else. Okay, yeah, the screw will lock it in place and it will like lift it up. I love this magnetic screwdriver. So the next step would be to uh, connect the display connector. So you just plug that back in. You can now plug in the battery connector as well. And then you would uh, you would put that on top of to the display that. connector, yep. yeah. And then we put the screws in after that. And then this goes. That goes then under here, so it's then just protecting the battery connector. Like, there's the top screw. It should find its place. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay, screws in. And then, yeah. In. So there, if you look at that, there are little teeth here in the top. So you just have to get those under yep, the frame and then start squeezing it down and then go all the way. Wow. And now it's locked in place. How good is that? It is pretty good, yeah. It's working. Mm. I'm gonna leave you to it, man. All right, thanks for your help. <laughs>